Wow, friends, Rob here doing a response and review the tornado Breezy Point, Queens, New York. Man, it's maybe 40 minutes from where I am in Long Island. We had, I believe, it had to have been a tornado blow off the water, literally knocked one of the absolute largest trees on a prop, ripped it right out of the roots. It's probably maybe a 10 or 12 foot hold in the ground from where the trees to be. But man, I'm just telling you, friends, it's absolutely time to take cover spiritually. Now, I'm a minister of the gospel. I believe prophetically we're going to see the weather, the weather patterns become more tumultuous. I believe we're going to see more of an uproar of earthquakes and hurricanes. I don't want this to happen, but the reality is I believe the earth is reacting to what's going on not in the natural because it's what's taking place in the spirit realm. I'm a minister of the gospel, by the way, and want to decide to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, go for it, hit the subscribe button, also under the search Rob Wood 1, many of the Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos where I expound and talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. But friends, implore on you, it's time to take cover spiritually. I believe we're going into some, you know, cataclysmic times, especially in America. I'm not one of these doomsday guys. I don't look out my front doors, Christ coming today, man, I live my life, play basketball, run a business. Wife, two kids, three dogs, two cats, a lot of animals around here. But friends, the Lord loves you. He's got a mighty plan for your life. The book of John, third chapter, 16th verse, simply states, For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that. He gave his only son, that if you would believe in Jesus, you'd not perish. You'd have eternal and everlasting life. And God desires nobody to perish under the sound of my voice. He wills all to have the assurance and insurance that when we take our last breath, we will know beyond the shadow of a doubt that we'll make heaven our home. And the only way we can have that insurance policy is by having our life submitted and by having Jesus in our life as our Lord and Savior. I'm going to lead you in a prayer. If you decide to pray it, God bless you. It's not reciting the prayer. It's the faith behind it. But if you want to accept Christ as your Savior, He comes by invitation only. God will never blow or knock the door down in your heart. God didn't create robots. God gave you a free will. You can open the door due to obedience, or you can keep the door shut due to disobedience. Simply say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Friends, if you prayed that prayer, God bless you. Heaven applaud you. Angels are throwing a party. I'm telling you, friends, it's time to take cover spiritually. But most of all, the Lord loves you. Make sure you're covered from what Jesus already did on the cross in times past because that's your insurance policy. Because we're spiritually created beings. You will never die. I will never die. Death is not the, the end. It's the inevitable. Hey, the Lord loves you. Give me your comments on this, whether you believe that there's some weather patterns that are getting a radical in this hour. You know, tornado in New York, I, we generally don't see them. But again, if you decide to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, go for it. The Lord loves you. Be blessed in Jesus' name.